Hi, I'm Kerry Hartwig, and I'm the Dryer Sales Director here at Sukup Manufacturing Company. We'd like to show you how our new mixed flow dryer works, um, how the grain moves through the dryer, and how the air moves through the dryer. Uh, we have a model of our dryer here. This is a 1-6 scale model of a TM2410 mixed flow dryer. Uh, let's start at the top. On the fill side, we have two different options. A gravity fill system where the grain is filled to the center of the dryer and is simply fed down by gravity to each side, or an auger fill system where you fill the dryer either in the back or the front, uh, e either one is possible, um, has a little bit lower fill height and is more located towards the end of the dryer. Grain then moves from the fill system down the wet bin into the grain columns. There's a grain column on each side, which I'll show you in a minute. It moves down through these mixed flow sections where the drying takes place, um, and then down into the screen section in the bottom. This is a unique feature of the Sukup dryer, is that we transition into screens to do vacuum cooling. Those screens then taper down towards the center, or they turn towards the center of the dryer for one takeaway system. And in the bottom, we either have a drag conveyor, um, chain and paddle drag conveyor, or we can do an auger system unload in the bottom as well. From the end of the dryer, we can see our, our wet bin area up here. The grain then transitions to one of two columns down each side. Each column is 30 inches thick this way. The other one is over here. We have a center plenum area uh, where our hot air is introduced to the inside um, and then through the grain columns. Each plenum has an access door where you can get inside there to do any maintenance or cleaning. Um, as well, you can run each plenum at its own unique drying temperature. So in this particular TM2410 dryer, we have an upper heat plenum and a lower heat plenum, and we can run those at two different drying temperatures. Um, from there, the grain continues to flow down, and we transition down into the narrower screen section. Um, and this is where our cooling is done. There's also an access to enter the dryer for cleaning and, and, into the, and maintenance into the cooling section. Um, then it, it transitions down into one central discharge point, either a drag conveyor or an auger. Now we want to take a look at how the air moves through the dryer. We're going to start at the bottom and work our way to the top. So the air is introduced to the dryer through the screens um, in a reverse motion from the outside to the inside. So it's vacuum cooling. Um, so air is brought from the outside to the inside. It cools the grain in the screens. As we cool the grain, that warms the air up. And internally, that warm air is then ducted um, here where it comes into the intake of the fans. Notice we have louvers that are adjustable on there. These louvers can be set and adjusted to vary the temperature of the grain coming out. So the more closed we have these louvers, the more cooling we're going to do, the more heat we recover. Um, if we open them a little more, our grain temperature will, will go up because we're pulling less grain through the screens and getting more free outside air. So that warm air ducts to the intake of the fan, it transitions up, and right here there's a heater. And because that's warmer air, we're not burning as much fuel in this heater. And this heater um, on a TM2410 dryer is servicing the bottom six tiers um, of the dryer. So air goes into that center plenum. And you can kind of see in this cutaway, uh, we have, there's two rows of tiers here. Now notice the upper tier, you can't see any triangles. Those triangles are only exposed to the center of the dryer. Um, so the hot air comes in these, these, these red tiers, and that hot air works its way across the entire width of the column, which is 30 inches. So there's no inside and outside heat zones. Uh, every kernel in the dryer is exposed to virtually the same drying temperature. That warm air goes through the grain and works its way to the nearest exhaust ducts, which in this, in this cutaway section are blue, and those are actually um, open to the outside, but not to the inside. So air must go from the red exhaust intake ducts to the blue um, exhaust ducts where they come out um, and each intake duct is equal distant to four exhaust ducts. Gives very even drying, even temperatures to all the grain in the dryer. The upper fans on our, on our mixed flow dryers are full heat units only. So the upper fans will blow into the top four tiers uh, of, of mixed flow uh, drying chamber. And it's a divided chamber, so we can run a separate temperature up here than what we run down here. So on your upper fans, we usually run a higher drying temperature where the grain is wetter. Uh, we can get a little more capacity that way without sacrificing grain quality. Down in the lower part of the dryer, when that grain is, is, is becoming more dry, we usually run a lower drying temperature down here to maintain the grain quality. We feel the Sukup Mixed Flow Dryer has a few distinct advantages. First, you don't have to clean the dryer like you would a screen dryer in season to keep it running efficiently. Secondly, the fuel efficiency is better than a screen dryer because of the vacuum cooling as well as the lower airflow per bushel used in the mixed flow style of drying. Lastly, the grain quality is better as well because every kernel sees the same temperature regardless of if it's on near the inside of the column or the outside of the column. 
Please consider the Sukup Mixflow dryer for your next dryer purchase. Thanks.